That's better. Now then. Sorry, I just put dirt all over my pipe. Guys, it's red here. Now, you may be wondering, why red? You look all nonchalant today, not even in uniform. Well, it's hot. But, being the man I am, I will take this stick and... Oh, at least wear a hat. There we go, that's better. Now, you may be asking yourself, red, what's the point of this video? This is so surpri surprised. Surprise? Surprise? This is a surprise. English kids. Well, I got the fire going behind me, which I'm going to add more wood to, specifically this wood. After I add more twigs, because it needs more little, it needs, it needs an appetizer before the main course. Now we put this on there. Seems legit. Okay. So, I know you guys can hear me better. I know I'm being loud, but the point of this video... Hold on, let me try to get in a frame here, because the way I got my phone mounted. Kind of like the smoke effect, but... <coughs> damn. I'm making this video because people have asked me several times, Red, how do I pack a knapsack accordingly to each event? Well... We'll make this video try to help you with that. First, we're going to look at it from a soldier's viewpoint because there is no standard way to build, pack your knapsack. To pack your knapsack, there is no standard issue way. Maybe there was at one point. I have not seen any documents of that. If you guys have, share them with me. I'd love to learn. But there is no true way of packing a knapsack. It's how you want. I'm not sure how this is turning out in the video, but the audio is there, and that's all that matters for the time being. <clears throat> so, let's get an empty knapsack out here. Okay, I'm going to crock him like I feel like big reels out here. You know how he always does his duck down ones? I'm going to get our empty knapsack out here, and we're going to put her together the way I do. This is how I do all my knapsack every event, because it's pretty much all year round style. This one thing I'm going to leave on there because it's a pain in the ass to get back on there. And that's the blanket roll in the back. I know, I know. But man, it's not made for blanket. Yeah, shush. My channel. My thing. For this I'll portion of the video, this. my head will be gone. Because I was decapitated by the camera. That bastard. Although, before I get into what we're going to pack this empty knapsack with, except that blanket roll right there. I'm going to get a word from our sponsor out there today. C.C. Sutlery. I'm going ahead and start saying it's my sponsor because I have been for a while and they only have recently officialized it. After they're done building their channel, they will be sponsoring me fully. Which I hope, honestly, it's like a merch thing. Like uh, CSC. Chad, come on, baby. Merch. You know, that fire is big. It's hot. The sun is also a big fire, as I've been told by some scientists in a lab coat. It's also hot. Is what I was getting at but let's start packing our knapsack now what I want to do first is think from a soldier's point of view because pounds equals pain so let's think here what would a soldier not be able to live without here the option the op products we have are a grooming kit which includes toothbrush shaving kit comb mirror the works uh, crotch powder and foot powder that is I've decided that necessity. I can't talk today. Twine. Because you always need twine. Bandage. Housewife. Soap. Comb. Multiple scarves. Knife. Socks. There's nothing over here. And of course, blankets, ground cloth, poncho those things which they will be introduced to the video merely because they're currently sitting on my cot and here's some other products that 
we will try to implement into our knapsack. <clears throat> Which I need to scrub these up because they are filthy. Absolutely filthy. Let okay. me do that. Now right. that I scraped off some of the rust, where he will be at, the, the other items I want to add are a mess kit which you can be which can be found at CNC and I'll admit I have left this outside because I wanted to get it weathered and worn and old and looking used which I think I did got some rust on the top a lot of uh, good stuff on the bottom even the pot on the inside has got some rust and stuff on it, it may look real old it's more for aesthetic because the structural integrity of the products have not been compromised so they're still fully functional. Also want to add our mucket, which true, this could be placed on in the or in or on the haversack, but we will not be doing that because this is Reg Channel. Uh, we also have two other scarves, a reflector lamp, a book, a diary with writing implement, which doesn't take up much room, candles, along with some matches, and a hatchet. Okay, so let's think here. What can a soldier definitely not live without? Well, I'm going to go with socks. Socks are an absolute necessity for a soldier. You take care of your feet, you'll be able to keep on marching. Um, I think we only need one comb here. We have two combs, one here, one here. We only need one, but seeing as this is already all put together, we won't need this comb, so get rid of that tuck that right in there which also whole kit available at CNC Sutlery except for the tooth powder I had to go to I think Fall Creek for that one bandage most soldiers would have had a handkerchief you can use that as a bandana as a bandage I should say so no mm, soap yes because contrary to popular belief soap you feel clean you feel better you work, but you work better as a soldier doing your job. So we're gonna put our soap in here. Housewife, uh, what it could be? Uh, let's see, would it be considered a luxury? I don't think so because it it just has mainly thread, needles, and a few patches from pants that I, that I lost over the years. So uh, sure, why not? You also become very popular that way. Uh, a scarf. Doesn't weigh much, so I'm going to put it in there because when it gets cold, soldiers often during the summertime would get rid of their great coats and put their blankets up top. So I'm going to say that the, uh, the, the, the scarf, sure, why not? Maybe two to wrap your feet up or something. Why not? Knife, I'm going to say yes because a pocket knife, any kind of knife, is always a necessity no matter what. And this is a good soldier's tool, which you can also get a CNC seller. Get me CNC. Uh, let's see here. Book to write. That that's awfully heavy for a book. You know what? We'll we'll put this off to the side and we will see. Uh, crotch and foot powder. I'm gonna say yes because those are necessary. If anybody anybody any reenactor out there has done any events, you will know that you're chafe in between the legs you would you chafe all around it hurts it's painful nobody wants that nobody wants to experience that and i just saw a spider crawl out of my haversack so that's good get out of here eight-legged freaks get is he gone did i flick him away i think so i think we're safe another day boys the fire is going well i'm hoping he's going to catch those logs on fire because fire is a nice background uh let's see Another scarf with our reflector lamp. Uh, neither one of them weigh much, and a reflector lamp is always good to have because uh, you never know what's going to be happening. Uh, and they may need to be able to see something at night, can't sleep about tomorrow, so you want to stay up. Maybe you have a nightlight. Also gives you another scarf. So I'm going to say we put that in our knapsack. Let's see. We don't really need a third scarf, do we? Um, I think that's all we need to put in the pouch here. But given that it's awfully heavy already, man, it, it's already got some weight to it. I'd say it's a good maybe three to four pounds right now, which I know some of you are like, oh, I could lift three to four pounds with my pinky. Well, 
when you're marching in the heat, those three to four pounds can easily feel like 40 or 50. <laughs> All right, so we take this and we tie it up good and secure because we don't want anything falling out while we're on the march. Don't want any water getting into our stuff. And I know what you're thinking, red. Well, what about your eating implements and everything? Well, those go in the haversack, the food compartment of the soldier's kit. Now, I thought I had something in John Billings' hardtack and coffee about a fully loaded hap knapsack. I almost called it a hapsack. But as it turns out, that was, in fact, for a punishment, and they were fully loaded with rocks and shit. Yep, yep, spider was building a nest in my, hap in my haversack. Good sticky stuff. I'll have to run through this thoroughly and clean all that out. He was just going after my spices. I don't know if I'm going to include this in the video. If it is, you guys are getting a rare treat. But if it's not, then you guys don't care because you won't be able to see it. I'll leave it on here if I get bit or something, you know. Yeah, it looks like I'm not getting bit today because the spider didn't lay any eggs or nothing. Fuck off, spider. Yep. Yeah. yeah, cut that out, Red. I don't need to see that. Okay. Now then, now that we... Three, two, one, go. Now that we have filled up our pack here, you know what? Let's go ahead and put our twine in there, too. There we go. Now we have filled our pack now. Let's get some uh, other items and see if they are of necessity to be taken along. Let me get those for you from the uh, quartermaster's department. I'll see you on a bit. Okay, so after arguing with the quartermaster, this guy's an asshole. He didn't want to give me any of this, but your old pal Red pulled through because one, no one tells Big Daddy Red no. And I'm honestly kind of shocked that he uh, even had the guts to tell me no after I told him who I was and what a pretty princess I was. And he knew by the tone of my voice that I was a very pretty princess. That joke and the one about the tailor goes to Paul of Mitten Squad. He came up with them because Paul himself knows I am Daddy's little girl. I like Paul from Mitten Squad. I love his videos. Go, go check Paul out, man. Go check out Paul from Mitten Squad. He's he's quite the guy. He's funny. Kind of looks a little bit like Sid the Sloth with, uh, you know, a face. But I love him nonetheless. He is my child. That back there is not producing enough smoke, so I will make some too. Okay. Fix my microphone there, which is in my ear if you guys are interested. Okay, so, now for the big question. What are we going to put in our compartment with our for our blanket? Because I have three blankets, well, two blankets, one ground cloth, one poncho, and I want to add in a rabbit's pelt because carrying around a lucky rabbit's foot weighs too much. So, first of all, if I have the blanket back there, do I really need another blanket? The answer is yes, because I get cold very easy. So, let's puff on our pipe and think for a second. About packing and what else we could fit in there, because I want to find a way to incorporate this hatchet in there. Because it's always good to keep a hatchet with you. Poncho doesn't have to go in here. The poncho can fit in between the two compartments. And perhaps if we, uh, after we put our stuff in here, this will be stuck up a little bit. What if we take our hatchet and put it here? That's a stupid idea because we don't want our hatchet facing toward us because this is where our back will be. So if we turn the hatchet that way, it'd also be easy access. There we go. Red's a good idea guy, but what about a rabbit pelt? Well, that'll go in first. I also enjoy this not only because it's lucky, but because it is so soft. If y'all don't have a rabbit pelt, 
Mmm, get your rabbit pelt. I got this from my niece, whose rabbit mysteriously disappeared by a fork. Oh, God, was he tasty. Now, I do have a regulation blanket inside. Well, I'll put that in there later. For, the, for argument's sake, and for video's sake, let's put this gray one in here. Okay, that, that, oh, it actually fits in there rather nicely. Okay, then we take our ground cloth, put that right there, and we do our straps. Okay, there's one, and let's pull this one real tight because we really want everything to fit in there real good. So, get it real tight. Ugh. Maybe one more. We can do one more. Okay, come on. Pop the there we are. Okay, there we go. Now then, let's kind of shimmy everything around in here. See, right there is that shelf I was talking about. Right there. So, once we... Lay down our knapsack one more time. Okay, we got our hatchet pointing away from our back. You're just throwing ash everywhere, aren't you? Yeah, you're an asshole. Then, our poncho, close her up. Then we seal our buckles and we're good to go. But this would not be a Red Runner video if we didn't try to add things. So let's open it back up. You know what? All that stuff I said we couldn't fit in our pouch up here? We're fitting in the pouch! There we go. Get all that in there. Yeah. Because I know how to read and write. I want a book. I want my candles in there so I can see me write my book. And other people can see me write my book and they know I'm more education than they are. All right. You know what? That is all we're going to fit in there. And then we just got to go. And it's settled. There we go. What? Wait, wait, wait. We're almost forgetting. Because I lied. This comb is, is important. This is for my toes. Got to comb your toe hair, ladies and gentlemen. Get out of here, smoke. Combat it with your own smoke. That's my advice. Now then, for the big question of muck it and mess kit. So, right in here, in our haversack, we have all our eating devices. Minus my tin cup, because up there when I was having coffee. But we got our coffee, more soap, which smells so good. Hmm. Okay, so we now have attached our mucket to a secure area. That was something that's non consequential to the video. And the smoke is ruining my eyes. Ah! Be gone, demon! Big question what are we going to do with the mess kit? Because I don't want to walk around with that in my arms, you know? Well. Red thinks. You guys an idea. Okay, so we close that over. All of our stuff is there, right? Well, you know what? let's push the uh, poncho and hatch it up a little bit. If I was any, if I was halfway decent at folding shit, the poncho and the hatchet wouldn't be an issue. Okay. So we have these three straps down here. Okay. What's everything? levels out, we'll be able to secure said straps. Okay, there we go. There's that one. And if you haven't noticed, 
our mess kit here has a has a bale, has a carry handle. What if on these last two we secure our mess kit? I think it'll work. Pause the video now and tell me in the comments if you think it'll work. And if you think it doesn't, and you win, you get a personal, you win from Red, and a hug if you ever meet him. Okay. So now our mucket is attached, but I want to secure this one over here the same amount. There we are. And all I got to do is force feed it through the loophole. Eat the food. Just eat the, eat the food. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Don't you spit it out. You put it back in there and you like it. There we go. We have... Oh, wait a second. This might even work out in our favor. We have a beautifully equipped knapsack. Now you may notice the poncho is hanging out over here. That's because it starts raining, easy access, grab, you know, grab from the back, pull, put it on, you're dry, so is your gear. We have everything we need for cooking in here, our mucket for boiling, mess kit if we want to cook something luxurious. I'm honestly proud of this setup. This is the nicest setup I've ever done. But with that being said, thank you for watching this video. There are a few channels I want to shout out. General Cody HD, Calibrated Core, Brendan S. Award is the Digest, Company D, so United States Sharpshooters, and of course the Townsends, which I get a lot of nice stuff from. Even this hatchet I got from the Townsends. I'm waiting for CNC to start selling hatchets so I can put a comparison to the two of two. Speaking of CNC Sutlery, they are glad to sponsor this video. Insert CNC pictures here. I don't know if I'll be able to, so see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. See you later.